Hello there and a happy 2015 everybody. Let's start the year by introducing a new Otaku Bandito spin-off series. And this one is called The Otaku Bandito's Dollar Store Special. And this is where I review items that come from Dollarama. And for those of you who live outside of Canada, Dollarama is a store where they mainly sell items that are they are usually priced from one to three dollars. It really is that simple, so you might find someone who wants to, to buy an item there simply because he couldn't afford to buy any items from the major shops. And of course, many of the items here are usually cheaper or more expensive, depending on what store you go to. But your bra brain just tells you that it's cheaper because everything is one to three dollars here. Watch out, everybody. And of course, this is also a Tech One special, and Tech One is the uh, the company that makes electronic items and mainly sells them in the electronic style of Dollarama. And the first time we got here is a USB mouse and of course this is the uh, packaging that it came in and yeah it says plug in use and yeah this is the uh, clamshell packaging or packaging you need scissors to open and yeah that's a quote from the uh, the angry video game nerd if you've ever seen the uh, the Tiger Electronics handheld games episode. If you haven't, go see it because it's really good. Yeah, this mouse is very small. It's even more awkward feeling than the puck mouse made by Apple. In fact, I do have one for size comparison. Yeah, this is the original Puck Mouse, the, the Bondi Blue Puck Mouse, or the Bondi Blue Puck Mouse, not to be confused with Bandai. And yeah, it's, uh, it's smaller. And of course, uh, you've seen this mouse before in the, uh, in the Otaku Bandito. So also known as the Cast Iron Bandito at the time iMac G3 review. If you haven't seen it, go see it. Follow the link right below the mouse. Alright, so to see if this mouse works, let's plug it in by using the MacBook Pro. And yeah, this is my new personal laptop I got. I might actually do a video on, on it one day. So spoiler alerts for future videos. USB away! And yeah, it works. All right, so let's bring in another more, more interesting USB item. And it is a USB vacuum cleaner. And yeah, this is basically made to uh, to clean the keys. I mean, clean the dirt dirt on the keys of your keyboard. And of course, uh, for those of you who have seen the videos made by Ashens. This of course looks like the uh, or resembles the uh, the U USB vacuum cleaner made by SignalX. But unlike the, uh, the one made by SignalX 
the, the light is on the bottom rather, rather than on the top. Alright, so let's test it. USB away! Alright, let's put it on low. It sucks. Let's put it on high. It sucks more. And yeah, that's a quote from Ashens. And yeah. I usually quote Ashens because his videos were my inspiration to to do my videos. And of course, the third and final item we got here today is not a USB item, but it's a stylus pen for the iPhone and iPad. And of course, it's, it's very good for what you get. And on the box, it says, get the most out of your touch screen. And yeah, yeah, there's also some interesting sing art on the back of the box with people dancing. It's basically very good for what you get. And of course it works. Because I usually see these on staples. for more expensive or cheaper depending on what kind it is. And of course I used it. And it's very good, that's all there is to say about it. So this concludes the Otaku Banditos Dollar Store Special and I'll see you later.